Um, I rise today to talk about the union that ensured I had support throughout my time in the maritime industry, the MUA and the amalgamation with the CFMEU. I'm proud of being part of the Maritime Union of Australia for the last 10 years. This union has ensured my rights at work were protected and gave me a platform to support social and political issues and ensure justice in particularly for the disadvantaged. Despite the media talking negatively about the MUA, particularly the WA branch, I stand here to let you know the organisation I know and love has always acted in the best interest of its membership and ensuring people are treated equally. There were many times when I'd been at sea with no contact to the outside world for weeks on end. We often found our employer would find ways to underpay us, neglect obligations under the enterprise agreement, bad safety culture, not supply us with the appropriate safety equipment. The day I got in and called my union, every single time they would respond. Every single time they would go in and bat for me and the membership on board the vessel. We always followed the law, if only the employers would. I mostly enjoyed spending time with members that have been members of the MUA for many years, many of them 20 to 30 years. The MUA has a history spanning back to 1872 with the SUA, Seamen's Union of Australia. The history of the MUA is a history that has had many amalgamations, giving members better representation and better benefits right across the board. I took an interest in the 1993 amalgamation from the early days offshore and spent many a time with members that were there and voted on that amalgamation. The amalgamation was between the SUA and the WWF, the Waterside Workers Federation. By this time, the SUA had multiple amalgamations with seafarer unions, such as the Cooks and Steward Unions. This amalgamation was, from what I've heard, tightly contested um, and voted on democratically, resulting in the amalgamation going ahead, and boy, wasn't it needed. Not long after the amalgamation, we've seen a disgusting attack on workers' rights by a twisted businessman, Chris Corrigan, and a federal government, the Howard government. On the 8th of April, 1998, Patrick Stevedores made the decision to sack its entire workforce around Australia and lock them out the gate. Now, when I say sack the workforce, let's paint the members in here a picture. You're at work in a crane, swinging the hook like you have done for many years. You look down out of the crane window and you see security thugs all dressed in black with balaclavas on and vicious dogs behind them. They then grab your mates and throw them out the gate forcefully throw them out the gate. They then, and this doesn't just happen in Fremantle, this happened all around Australia at every single Patrick site. They removed them from their workplace and told them to bugger off and your job is finished. Is that industrial relations? What would you do? It was lucky these men and women were in a union, not just any union, the MUA. These men and women all around this country stood together in the face of injustice, the company and the Howen government failed these workers and tried to break them. The outcome of this dispute has become folklore because the workers won their right to get back on the job and continue doing what they do best, Stephen Oren. Now more than ever, workers are under attack. I have seen this Liberal National Federal Government attack, attack and attack maritime workers across this country. One case that sticks out in my mind and I will never forget is the MV Portland dispute. The MV Portland has been, had been running its cargo domestically around the Australian coastline. Now, let's be clear, domestic trade is from point A to point B within Australian waters. That's Australian work. For 27 years, that was Australian work. It used to run from Portland, Victoria to Panana, uh, Panana, Perth, Quinana. The Australian crew was forcefully removed from the ship at 1 a.m. in the morning. Five Australian workers ripped from their bunks by 30 hired thugs. Then 12 foreign workers were escorted up the gangway and put on the vessel to take them Australian jobs. This vessel continues to trade domestically between Quinana and Portland. Australian jobs taken away. We are talking about Australian jobs removed from their ships to make way for workers that are being extorted on lower wages that don't have the same safety standards that we have on the job and get extorted every day. And what did the government do to prevent this? Absolutely nothing. Did not stand up for Australian workers. Did not stand up for Australian seafarers. 
It is important that workers have unions. Without them, how can they fight these types of injustices? The MUA membership is now, as we speak, voting on a historic question. That is to amalgamate with the CFMEU and the TCFUA. I believe this is the right of a worker. The worker has a right to affiliate with a union. The worker has the right as a member of that union to decide what that union does, whether it affiliates with further unions or whether it stays on its own. That is the right of a union member, not the right of the government to become involved in them types of amalgamations, as it is the right of the membership to decide where they head. I wish all the members the best of luck with their vote, and I look forward to seeing the outcome. Thank you. Are there any further members' statements?